Hey Floss Tube, it's Taryn. Um, obviously I'm in my car again. Um, Cresha Crafts had left a message saying that I should do um, Glovebox Confessions. Uh, that it should be a regular thing. I don't know about a regular thing, but I figured I had some confessions and I would go ahead and make those. I could do that now. Um, before I forgot about it, and mostly because it made me laugh that she even said that. So here we go, my confessions. Um, I have eBay bucks. I just got my little certificate. I don't know if you shop on eBay a lot. Sign up for the eBay bucks if you haven't. You get like little cash back. Anyway, so a lot of the parts I've been buying recently I've bought on eBay, like for the air conditioner and stuff. So I got some bucks built up and I got my certificate. And I don't know if you have a certain amount of time to spend them or not. Apparently, I think you have about a hot minute to get it done because I have been looking for cross stitch stuff. I don't have anything in mind. I'm just looking to see what I can spend my money on. That's my confession. I don't need it. Any of that. I'm just. Hey, can I spend my money? Actually, not can I spend my money. It's like, hey, I have this. I've got to buy something. That's really all of my um, stitching confessions. Here are my other confessions. Saturday, with it being such a rough day, add PMS to that too. I don't know like anybody, I don't know about anybody else, I have a voracious appetite with PMS. There, it's a bottomless pit. So anyway, the other day, Saturday or Sunday, Dax and I got in the car. I had to go do something else and he was already in the car and he was munching on some candy and he's like, what have you got going on here? Because down in the pocket on Saturday, I went and I bought a bag of candy. bought a bag of candy, and I've already eaten one of the other bags of candy, those sour watermelon slices, and I bought a box of Cheez-Its, those are actually in the office, but there you go, there's my confession, I have candy stashed in the little pocket on the door in my car, last night I stopped at Target, on my way home, well, while I was in Target, I bought a pint of gelato. And as soon as I left Target, I had to wait on a train. And I may or may not have broken into the gelato and sat in my car eating gelato while I waited for the train. I will tell you, you don't care how long the train is if you're sitting there eating a pint of gelato. Um... I guess here's another confession. I don't know if this is a confession or if this is a way of life that maybe if you don't more, some of you may want to embrace it. Um, I can eat gelato while I am sitting waiting for a train because I have a box of spoons in my car. also have koozies. You should never be without either one of those. Um, I carry a box of spoons because you never know when you're going to need to eat gelato or maybe a pint of Haagen-Dazs, giant slice of cake from the grocery store. Yeah. Now, if you want to make that a way of life for yourself, you don't have to have a whole box like I do. Um, get you a spoon or fork, put it in a little plastic bag, and put it in there. You'll have it when those emergencies strike. Um, here's a couple other rules that I live by that you may want to incorporate into your life. Um, if I'm the one who goes and picks up pizza, I'm eating a slice on the way home. That just is. Pizza doesn't make it back to my house. While it's all hot and fresh out of the oven, I'm eating some. So, 
Pizza's returned to my house with a slice missing. At least one. Um, and in that vein, I hate going to the grocery store. So I have another rule. Actually, I don't hate going to the grocery store. I hate going to the grocery store when other people are there. And that's a real hard one to work around. So one of my rules is that if I make it through the grocery store without actually causing bodily harm to someone, I deserve a treat. So I'll buy a donut or maybe a big ass piece of cake that I need a spoon for. Um, yeah, it takes some of the pain out of having to do it. So there you go. I've got to head into the office now. Um, those are my confessions. Maybe some little rules to live by. I hope some of y'all can incorporate those into your life. And yeah, maybe if I come up with something else, we'll uh, have another glove box confession session. Wow, that's hard to say. Um, sometime in the near future. And uh, if anybody else would like to uh, confess, I'd love to see them. Thanks so much. See y'all soon.